to a rumble. Sway, swing, swoon. The girls do forget when baby doll boy walks into the ring. Rolls thick shoulders, shift of muscle, is a mortal. Titan trunk tyrant, two bit tumble, and the way his opponent speaks is coarse. The sound of a body hitting the mat is a linear collision of geometric means, ratio, statistics, leverage, physics, and emotion of muscle, and the way a man parts air, parts crowd, parts breath from the lips of every child in the audience when a body breaks into lights. Rings like roses, girls like velveteen goddesses, all sequined up with no skill. But the crowd still loves soft bodies that bend like ballerinas and sparkle in the dusk of a subpar performance dimmed by expectation and the way a slap never settles quite right on faces painted for war. There will never be another moment quite like this. No one ever thought it through, the way matchmakers misalign bruises like stargazers, the way a body swings into place, athletics suspended on ropes, still life stances with legs locked, flex of arms accentuated by built-up biceps, worn in workouts, lines and lines of ink that beat rhythms down a broad chest bare and flimsy stadium lights, the aesthetics of knockout boys and glitter girls, of sweet sweat shine singing starstruck. It is acting, violence in perspective, empty air punches and the adrenaline of a crowd writhing to meet them. The way the world works, simplified fists, fight, flight, no repercussions, grown-ups play pretend, and you win, you lose, you do what you're told, because a bronze belt has more weight than the fighter with the world in his back, and even it is a 30-pound product of a fictional feud. But the shine is like fog lights guiding you home you are filled with empty promise. And so sometimes you pretend it's real because people forget you have to be the best to belong. Delegate broken noses and sprayed wrists to schoolyard scuffles and bar brawls. Tap to work attacks and alleyways into the fact that you have always looked like someone willing to hurt. Until you are forced to carry your accomplishments in the hardness of your body, the set of your shoulders, the roar of the crowd when you slip into the ring bare and vulnerable. And maybe it's about appreciation, about the feet of the fall, about veiling your skills because you want to be somebody and letting the world take you, judge you, contort you in ways a body sometimes shouldn't, twisted tendons and half-sung hopes for heroes who thought they were victors and villains who thought they were gods. But most of all, it's about the way a fist hits hard, the way bodies rise like a phoenix from the crowd, voices cracking like knuckles, letting blow after blow like shots in the dark.